Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of this Archicad modeling tutorials. My name is Namara Allen. So previously we modeled this thing, the form of it, and now we want to open it up to make it become a modern house. First, we want to begin with the roof. So the roof is doing some interesting things. One is that it is covering part of the ground floor, uh, which is above here, and then also, of course, on top of the first floor plan. So how do we achieve this? So we want to go to the roof tool here, which is uh, named when you hover over. So double click and here it comes. So when you have this dialog box, go ahead and in order for us to control how thick it is, we want to select this one, which is a simpler version. So go ahead and reduce that because 300 is way too deep. So we want something maybe half that, 150. And then we also want to tweak the angle at which the roof is leaning uh, 25 in practice and in our model it should be able to look good and then we also have an overhang of 800 which is uh, a bit above the standard 600 should be able to work for us and that is good for us and then we want to uh, go to the model and enable these three how they look by overriding those surfaces to uh, changing them to we want to choose something like gray asphalt something dark like what is given in the reference so let's also change these to white for the surface underneath and the surface on the side so when you have done that think all the rest is okay click OK and we begin to place the roof so you click on the first point and the final point so you can see that it perfectly uh, follows the reference we want to also tweak this because currently when you go to the first floor you realize it is eating into our existing model. So how do we deal with that? So there are a couple of ways, but I like to do it this way. Select the roof, right click and split it into single plane roofs. So when you do that, this dialog box will be up. Of course, you will lose some things and say split anyway. So once you have split it, you can go ahead and select single planes. In order to do that, make sure that you suspend the grouping by Alt G or clicking that on the standard toolbar. So now you should be able to select one of the roofs and then we can split it by clicking that X right there. Then we specify the plane on which we are going to split and then the direction that we are going to remove. So once you have done that, click delete and it's gone. And that is what we are going to do for the rest of these roofs. Let's go ahead and split and delete them so you have a clean flow plan. Go ahead, delete that. And then we work on the final one which is split upward and sideways and that looks much cleaner and when we do that we will get an issue here where the roof is going to overlap so from the model that i made we just can just use this wall to continue it so alt click it and do that and when we do that, let's also do it on the ground floor. This time we don't need a smaller wall. Let's use a bigger wall for this which is out. And then 
we we just close that off which is going to add a little something to the design anyway so we go up and we go again to the roof tool and uh we need the same settings and we say okay and then we go ahead and draw a roof on top on the first floor plan so for this one we want to go ahead and just make it follow the profile of our floor plan so with the, the negative or subtract from polygon selected you remove that area also remove this one here of course we are using this uh, construction method which is rectangular and select remove that and then for this lower part we want to be able to prevent the rain to have to be on our balcony so go ahead and offset edges uh, say offset edges good and that should be decent to allow the balcony to be covered and then also um, the rest is fine so when we go to 3d to see what we have just done there it is and it's already looking like what we have in the reference so now we go ahead and put in the opening so we will begin to place them from the ground floor so go ahead and download the reference which i have attached below find it where you have it downloaded just drag and drop it in there and you can do away with this so let's go ahead and position this away so we begin from the garage door so go ahead and go to the door tools when this is up go ahead and select garage door and with this side side by side we want to be able to see from pre preview and positioning our garage door which looks like this overhead garage so this time we can go ahead and change the width of it so a car can be able to pass that's three meters and the height of it is 2.4 to match the reference and then be sure to put it on zero because uh, it's not offset from the ground floor level then go ahead and change the style to with this horizontal something and then we can use a horizontal bar to be able to lift the door up and then we go ahead and say okay the rest to the rest so go ahead hover over the wall and get something like the center click the first time and click the second time and it is well placed so next that we want to work on is door 4 so with it in view we go ahead and double click on the wall tool this dialog box is up you want to select the hinge door get something close to what is there which is door 24 in my case yours may be different depending on your version so we go ahead and uh, make it an 800 wide door and then you have 2.1 high which is good for us make sure it is at zero and then we go to the hinge door settings so this time we will go down 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 to something like 53 and then knob 5 or 6 should be able to work for a washroom and then 1 to 50 scale should be able to show some detail then the other thing i like to tweak is the fixtures and fittings just to remove those casings and then um, that should be good say okay and then of course those are three doors go ahead and uh, place them so we have a washroom here so you can change the anchor points and this is weird it's like a bug i cannot see those those illustrations of the anchor points but anyway i hope 
yours is different you should be able to see them but i'll go ahead and maybe that is yes that is what i need go ahead i go to the first floor and this time i need to change the anchor point yeah that's what i need oh weird you cannot see that but uh, i will choose whatever works come on go ahead and yes this is what i need and that is it just uh compare with the reference go ahead and say this is wcwc so those are the three doors that we wanted to place so the next one that we want to do is uh door three so door three we could go ahead and uh, this time we want to change it to yeah it looks like this door 24 with transform so let's change this to 900 2.4 everything is fine go down here and we will choose a new style 40 huh? go ahead and One to fifty, so we have more detail. And then the other thing for this door, I like to do is to remove those opening lines in 3D. The other thing is to remove these casings. Huh. The other thing is to go ahead and work on that vent sash thing. I. Th I think I'm happy with that so say okay so go ahead and we place that door on the bedrooms so I need to change the anchor point and then okay then I was slow okay click once and then open it up and then uh, okay we, we we need the same door here for from the kitchen to the porch then on the first floor too we also need to enter these bedrooms you can change the anchor point to something like there go ahead and do that and that is good so uh next on the list is uh door two and this door resembles that so i'll show you a quick way to do that to transfer so when you have this dialog box up go ahead and make that 1.5 which is how wide this door is then go ahead and look for that door which is similar to that in my case it is going to be a double door with transom 24 so hold control alt and then click on that and wait for it to and there you have it so when we go ahead into the settings you can see everything else is the way that we selected and that's a quick tip that will make you work faster and that door is done so we go ahead and place that in here so center or center i need a center line here and a better way to place it um centrally is you could get a line just draw it there hold shift to keep it so once you have put it there from center to the center of the walls just hover over there make sure that that uh, half appears control d to drag and then align it there so now it should be in between these two points yeah huh next uh on the list is a door which is door through door one which is also the same thing so we go ahead and do that so grab the door tool 
Um, hmm. So this door is a free meta. So just let's just put it there. Free metas. But now this time this is a sliding door. We go ahead and select sliding. Then we scroll down to something close to what is given. Uh -huh. And right here it is. So Control Alt click here and then calculates and it has done it but then here we have a couple of issues one is uh, just uh, the weak, the thickness of that so we need to go into shape so within sliding door settings you want to click on the door settings and opening and then we go above that which is shape so in the shape you can see this is way too small and this is almost the same thing as that so let's put in like one meter uh, yes so this is 980 980 that should be able to work the other thing that we want to change is to add some crossings there so that we can be able to divide that transom also divide horizontally that and then the, this height is is a bit low maybe 750 should be able to line perfectly with that so when you do that uh, we can go to the sash type because we need to change a few things one is the side light lower which is by default solid we need to make it uh, open with glass the other thing is that uh, the side transom and the main transom have to be ventish to allow yes to allow a, a ventilation so we go ahead and we say okay so when we go to the first floor we can uh, position that door from the middle just hover until you get that center and then you think about how you're going to open the door maybe this should be able to work yeah and i think that should do it for now oh okay join me in the next one where we put in the windows and finish up the model